Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of Object Competitions but before we get into today's one guys we need to go over the results of the previous two competitions this time as um yeah the one we were meant to get the results for last week we had to go on to a tiebreaker so I thought I'd give it an extra week for the votes um, of that to come in so without further ado let's get into this so this competition here from two weeks ago this was the broken glitched object competition and yeah we went to a tiebreaker between siren and mad planet guy and siren here with his object here he managed to grab the win by one vote in the tiebreaker so congratulations to him and yeah we have mad planet guys uh dense gas giant here as the uh, runner up for that competition so congratulations to uh, siren for winning that you guys uh, voted yep five four in the uh, comments or not in the comments i say in the vote um area here so yeah massive well done to those two guys for getting uh, one and two um, on that one and now yeah that that competition is all done so now moving on to last week's competition which was planet nine so if we hop into um yeah episodes yeah. right so planet nine if we're looking at results of uh this one's just take all the labels off right so looking at the results here it looks like error xd here took the win by an absolute storm he was over double second place so he got eight votes on his Wow, we and then yeah, second place we had tis pole so i uh, can't remember which one his was because they're all just named planet nine so i don't know whose is whose but yeah uh, congratulations for him for getting i think i think this poll was this one if i remember right apologies if i am getting that wrong but yeah good old um era xd yeah he took that he took that by storm so i think i believe that's his second win um in these competitions now so yeah congratulations to him and yeah he absolutely dominated that competition so yeah well done there and yeah with that all said and done guys let's move on to today's competition now so what we can do is um we'll quickly just go ahead and uh, remove all of those so yeah congrats to him um once more for winning that oh him and siren actually yes yeah, so the two winners of the previous two but now on to today's competition we are going to be doing the gas dwarf kepler 138d so you guys really wanted to do a gas dwarf we put it in the vote it took the win by a storm um good old gas dwarf here so let's go ahead and uh, see what you guys have prepared for us today so let's go ahead and do uh comp here see what we've got okay these are looking these are looking pretty cool already right okie dokie okay this is looking pretty good. Right. So the first one here, we've got Gigaman. So let's go ahead and see what he has made for us. So remember, these are Gas Dwarfs. So they are going to be pretty small. Right. So here is Gigaman's uh, Gas Dwarf here. So yeah, Kepler 138D here. So as we can see, it's got a real nice mixture of different colored bands. We can see some yellows, cream colors, red in there. A bit of like darker sort of pale greens, oranges, pink. That's a pretty nice mix of different colors there. I and mean, we can see loads and loads of mixes in there so yeah very nicely designed with all the uh, colors there so yeah there is a uh, gigaman's object there i do like this area here if we just zoom in this area with the pink and the white bands mixing together i do like that i think that looks pretty cool so yeah there is his gas dwarf so moving on right we have got um cause um object here so let's go ahead and place that in here oh let's let it spawn okay so we've got a nice uh, blue looking one here kind of reminds me of a uh, custom neptune um of some sort so we can see it's got a lot of deep blues in it for his gas dwarf here so yeah there is a full look of it there so a nice mixture of bands um if we look at the band count i'm guessing yeah we've got quite a lot of the similar colors all mixed in there but yeah creating a very nice uh, mixture of blue there so there is um his one right so uh, opening the menu again right next up we've got tis poles um kepler so let's go ahead and uh, place that in here okay so we've got a all pale colored it's kind of like a satin like object here so yeah, uh, a nice light sort of yellowy, creamy sort of colour. If we look at the colours here, I'm guessing it's maybe just... Oh, it's got a load of different bands in there. I was assuming it's maybe just one or two bands. But we can see this thing has got... My God, it's got a lot of bands. Wowee. Okay, anyone want to take a count? Because we've got quite a lot in there. So yeah, there is uh, his one. So I can see sort of like a dark patch appearing on it. Maybe he's using that um, weird modern technique again to get that sort of dark area appearing. I can sort of see it in the camera up here as well. If you look carefully, you can see there's like a dark spot area sort of moving around with the planet moving with the camera there so it's uh, yeah, pretty weird so i think that was um it's like that dark spot neptune and then his one from the last competition in the planet nines so yeah there's his one All right next up we got sirens one here so let's go ahead and uh, place that into here his his gas dwarf so kepler 138d oh and i'm liking the, i'm really liking that wow we yeah i've got to say that does look really nice it's got it starts off yellow at the top a yellowy orange goes into like a golden orange color goes into obviously regular orange goes into a deeper red a blood red and it goes into like a dark hot magenta pink at the bottom and then at the very bottom we get a very very dark menacing sort of dark red down there look at that gotta say that is a very nice very nice color combination that is a that'd fit really well in one of my warm colored solar systems like that is a that's a nice object there so yeah nice job there 
Right, next up we have got the uh, name. His name is name. So, yeah, here is his object here. So he is going with a very purple coloured themed object. So we've got some nice mixes of shades in there. Purple, lavender purple. We've got some white, maybe a tad bit of light blue in there. Pink on the North Pole. Very nice combination of uh, mixes in there. There's all the colours. So, yeah, mostly uh, blues, lavenders, purples, violets sort of shades. We've got some uh, more pastel-like colours in the south there um, as well. So, yeah, there is the object that Name has curated for us there. So, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice object indeed there. Very, very cool. So, there is his one. All right, next up we have got um, the D. Munix object here. So, apparently I need to look at this object from behind. He put a very long name for it. Wow, we look at this. Okay, so yeah, the name of the object, if we uh, read it out, um, look at the planet from behind. It looks really sick. So let's see, um, let's see what he has uh, done for us. So what we'll do is we'll go into, um, yeah, we need to change our lighting. So we'll go to directional light. So he said, look at the planet from behind. So here, here, here it is from the front, starting off. So there it is. So we can see, yes, it's kind of a mix between a rocky and a gas giant. You can see it's very, very cloudy. It's got an atmosphere. So yeah, gas dwarf. I mean, I think that fits it um, quite well as well. So look at it from behind. I'm looking from behind. I'm not really seeing anything that meets the eye, I have to say. But is there, is there going to be lights or something? I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, what if we try studio? Or realistic, maybe? So he said look at it from behind. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be looking at. So yeah, I'm not too sure. No, but yeah, there it is anyway. So back to studio mode. I've got to say, I really like the clouds on it. What if we... Uh, Remove the atmosphere or whatever. So, cloud atmosphere's there. Clouds. Ah, okay, okay. I see what he's done. See, look how, look how deep those clouds are. That is a... That's quite a lot of clouds. We can see, yeah, gas dwarf. I mean, that, I think that um, fits the um, requirement quite well, actually. I mean, it's, it's got an atmosphere. It's obviously a dwarf object. So, it's kind of like a mix between a rocky and a gassy. Because that's sort of what I, Like, a gas dwarf isn't the same as, like, a normal gas giant and all that. I don't really know much about gas dwarfs. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Yeah, I think that's quite a good interpretation of a gas dwarf there. So, very nice job to him. So, there we are. All right, now moving on, we have got an Error XD's one. So, the winner of the Planet 9 competition, the last one we did. So, here is what he has made for us today. Alrighty, so it's got a nicer mix of uh, white sort of colours. We've got some, like, creamy peach shades, some deeper reds in there. So, yeah, a nice mix of, like, red and white mainly um, on this little guy here. So, there it is. Looking good. So, if we... Uh, Check its stats quickly. So yeah, look at look at for instance the radius of these objects. They're roughly only around one Earth. These are pretty little small um, gas dwarfs here. So yeah, pretty cool indeed. We can see Sirens is the smallest by miles. I mean this one's only zero point basically zero point four Earth in radius. It's not even half of the Earth. So that's pretty cool. Right, and then lastly we have got Mr. Missilot's Kepler one thirty eight D. So let's see what he has made for us here. Check this out. Right, so we've got uh, mostly a black object. We've got to see some mixes of like dark blues and greens in there, but then. Oh, the equator area we've got these bright red and orange stripes on it right there check that out what do you think of that that's a pretty nice i do like that fiery colored band i have to say all those mixed of colors in there that is pretty cool so let's look at the band count i mean i'm guessing it's quite a lot of bands there you go there's all the fiery colors so yeah what do you think of that that is a pretty cool object i have to say so there we are so that is all of the objects so, so if you just check yep that's all of them so yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine so Pretty, pretty good amount of objects this week. Look at that. Awesome stuff indeed. So, yeah, massive thank you to everyone uh, who sent their objects in today. So, yeah, we've got eight objects. Awesome stuff indeed right there. I mean, that is really, really cool. So, let's get a lineup of them all now. And then we'll go over them once more. We'll make Sirens one a little bigger because it is a little small compared to the other ones. So let's just uh, make it a little bigger. There we are. Just uh, get them all the same size roughly. So, yeah, that works. And then uh, this guy as well. Just make you uh, a tad bigger awesome stuff so yeah there is our lineup so we'll just make live there we are right and then we'll start from the left and work our way to the right so yeah here we have this one again so this was um i believe this was tis pole's one wasn't it see so, yeah, tis pole yep so it was his bright colored uh, creamy sort of colored satin with like the dark sort of patch on it if you look carefully you can see the dark sort of spot that goes around with it um as well see so, yeah, a pretty cool object there Alrighty, it's annoying how it all, always selects an object now it didn't used to do that but yeah now moving on we have got kepler so this was name so that was his object that he sent in here. So here it is. So this was a nice uh, magenta, violet, lavender coloured one. Right there. So there is that one. Moving on to the uh, bluish one, the Neptune sort of coloured one here. So this was Kors uh, Kepler 138D. So there it is there. And then next up we have got this one. So this was Era XD's one. So this was a nice red and white uh, mixture of colours um, in there. And then um, on to the next one. So this was Gigaman's. 
So this was Gigaman's what Kepler 138D here. So it's got a nice mix of just everything um, in this one there. And yeah, a very nice mix of the pink and white bands there, I have to say, in the middle. So yeah, is his one. And then moving on, we had Sirens once. This was like the fiery colored one. So it starts off yellow, gets darker and darker, and then it goes all the way to this like blood dark red at the bottom there. Very, very nice indeed. So there is a uh, Sirens one. Then on to Mr. Missalots, we had the um, basically all blacked out object. Obviously, you can see it's slightly different colours in there. And then it had these bright, stripy, fiery coloured bands on it, making it look really, really cool and standing out sort of from the pack when you look at a distance as well. So there is his one. And then lastly, we have a D Munich's one here with this uh, atmospheric gas dwarf object with yeah, the huge, huge amount of clouds on it. So if we just look underneath again, yeah, that's what it looks like underneath. So it looks like it's tinted or something as well. And obviously the clouds make it what it is with the atmosphere on it. So yeah, what do you think of that? Very nice object indeed there. Right, so there is our full lineup, guys. So, um, yeah, if you would like to uh, vote on uh, the winner for this object competition, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description, and you can vote by adding the reactions to the message I'll put in the uh, competition vote chat if you would like to uh, take part in the voting for this. So, yeah, good luck to everyone, um, and a massive thank you to everyone for sending your objects in today. We've got a real good variety of different objects in here. So, yeah, really, really awesome stuff. And, yeah, thank you again. Awesome we can do these. It's nice to showcase everyone's objects. Um, and all that good stuff so yeah really really hope you enjoyed today's competition guys and if you did make sure to hit that like button let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video guys and yeah with that all said and done make sure to subscribe as well helps on the journey to 18,000 subscribers as yeah we're getting closer and closer by the day so a huge thank you to everyone for that who keeps coming back to the videos everyone who subscribed leave likes huge thank you to all of you for that i appreciate it it means the world just massive thank you um once more for that absolutely awesome stuff but yeah of that all said and done guys make sure you stay safe out there have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye guys